Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this website using React.js. So here we can see we have designed all of this. Now in this video, I'll show you how to create the backend of our website. So if we scroll down here, we can see we have these blog posts displayed over here. And then we also have these testimonials. As of now, we have hard coded all this data into our project. So if you go to the source code, and if you go to the blog component, here we can see we have the first post and we have the data. Then we have the second post and then we have the third post. In the same way, we have hard coded the data of the testimonials as well. Now what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to get this data from Sanity.io. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in this website Sanity.io. Now Sanity.io is basically a content management system. So you can store data in Sanity.io and get the data in your front end. So let's see how to create our Sanity.io backend. So let's go ahead and click on get started. And here we can see we have this guide on how to create a Sanity project. So let's scroll down. And here we have this code. So let's go ahead and copy this code from here. And let's go back to our source code. So I'll just go ahead and press Ctrl C to close the connection and uh, now here we can see in our source code we have this folder with the name of front end now for the back end let's create a new folder so here let's create a new folder and uh, you can name this anything you want i'll just name it server right now let's go into this folder in our terminal so here i'll just type cd dot dot to go back and then i'll type cd server now we can see we are in the server folder so let's go ahead and paste the code that we just copied now here for the project name, I'll just change it to our website name. So here we can see our website is sound design. So let's go ahead and change this to sound design. Right now let's press enter. And here we can see it says we need to install the following packages. So let's press Y and press enter. Now you'll have to create an account in Sanity.io and login when you execute this command. I am already logged in. So here we can see it says looks like you already have an account. So here the next thing we need to do is set the project output path. So right now it is set to server. So I'll just press enter. And then it asks do you want to use TypeScript? I'll just type N and press enter. And then we have the package manager that we are using for installation. So I'll just select NPM. Right, we can see Sanity.io has been installed. So if you open server folder, here we can see all these uh, files and folders. Right now here we have this command npm run dev. So let's type that over here. npm run dev. Right now we can open Sanity Studio by just clicking on this link. So let's click on this link. And here we need to log in. So I'll just quickly log in. Right, I have logged in and this is how our Sanity Studio looks. Now here we can see it says no document types. So first of all, we have to create at least one document in our schema. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Let's go back to our VS code. Now here we can configure our schema. So let's click on this schema folder. And here we have this file called index.js. And right now we can see that the schema types is empty. And what you need to do is you need to create a new file into this schemas folder. So let's right click over here and let's create a new file. And I'll just name it testimonial or testimonials.js. And now here we can create the schema. So let's go ahead and type export default. And here you can go ahead and add all the details of your document. So let's go ahead and type name. And I'll just set the name to testimonials. And then we have the title. So I'll just set the title to testimonials as well. I'll just have capital T. So this is what will be displayed over here inside our sanity studio the next thing we need to have is the type so the type is going to be document and then we need to have all the fields displayed so let's type fields and this is going to be an array and in that we're going to have different objects so for the first one let's type name and the name will be image so this is going to be the image inside our testimonials so these images right here and then we need to add the type and the type is going to be image and then we can add the title. So for the title, I'll just type image. 
you can name the title and the name anything you want. Right now for the next field, let's go ahead and type name. And for this, I'll just set the name to name. So this is going to be the name of the person. So for the type, I'll just set it to string. And then the title will be name. And then let's create another object. And we need to have one more field, which is company. So let's type name, company. And uh, the type is going to be string. And for the title, I'll just type company. And then lastly, we need to have the field for the actual review. So let's type name. I'll just type message. And uh, for the type, I'll just type text. And then for the title, I'll just type message. Now you can find the list of all these types in the documentation of Sanity IO. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to add this testimonials document inside our index.js. So here, the first thing we need to do is we need to import the testimonials.js file. So let's type import testimonials from testimonials. And we have a typo in our name. So I'll just go ahead and rename this to testimonials. Right now, let's go back and uh, let's delete this. Let's type import testimonials from testimonials and here let's type testimonials right now if you go back to the browser and if you go to sanity studio here we can see we have the testimonials document and if i open that here we can create a new testimonial so let's click on this icon and now here we can see we have these fields we have the image the name the company and the message so once you fill in all these details you can just click on publish so let me quickly go ahead and create a testimonial. So let's upload the image. I just click on upload. Here are all the assets in our website. So let's scroll down and uh, let's get the testimonial. So I'll just select this and click on open. So the image is being uploaded. The next thing is the name. So let's add this name, Peter Adams. And then for the company name, let's type Google. And then lastly, we have the message. So let's go ahead and copy this message from here. And uh, let's paste it over here. And uh, let's click on publish. And here we can see that the first testimonial was published. Now in the same way, you can go ahead and create the remaining testimonials. Right now, let's go ahead and create the other document, which is for the posts. So here we have these blog posts. So let's create a document for that. Let's go back to our VS code. And here in the schemas folder, let's go ahead and create a new file. And I'll just name it posts.js. And uh, let's add the code for the posts. So let's type export default here for the name. Let's type posts. And for the title, let's type posts. And for the type, let's type document. And now let's add the fields. So this is going to be an array. And the first thing we need to have is the thumbnail. So let's go ahead and give it a name of thumbnail. And for the type, I'll just type image. And for the title, let's type thumbnail. Right, the next thing we need to have is the label. So let's create a field for that. Let's type name. And let's set it to label. And the type is going to be string. And then we need to have the title and let's set it to label. The next field we will have is the title. So let's type name, title. And the type is going to be string. And the title is going to be title. Now for the posts, we also have content. So let's go ahead and create a name. Let's type content. And for the type, let's type array. Here you need to type off. And uh, in square brackets, you have to type curly braces type and we'll set it to block. Now we are doing this because we need to have an editor for writing the content. And here let's add a title and uh, let's type content. Right now, let's create another field and uh, let's create it for the date. 
so let's type name equals date published now these fields are not displayed in our front end but we just need to add it for the back end when we want to display the full block so let's set the type of uh, the date published to date and we will set the title to date published and then lastly for the post we need to have a slug so slug is basically the URL of the complete post so let's type name and let's set it to slug and we'll set the type to slug now let's go back to the documentation because we can add some more options inside our slug so let's open the documentation and here I'll just search for slug and let's click on this and if we scroll down here we can see this is basically a slug so let's scroll down and let's check out the code so here we have the code so here we can add these options to the slug so here we can see we have these options where we get the slug from the title so it will use the title as the slug of our post so let's copy these options from here and let's go back and I'll just paste it over here we'll also add the title so I'll just have title slug and let's paste the options right now let's go ahead and add this to our index.js file so here let's import it I'll just type import posts from posts and here we need to add posts and now let's go back to sanity studio and here we can see we have a new document and it is for the posts so if we click on this icon here we have the option of creating a post so we can go ahead and add the thumbnail label and all these things over here now for the content here we can see we had set this uh, type of array and the type is set to block so here we can see we have this editor you can use all these options over here for creating the post and then for the date published you can go ahead and select a date from here and then here we have the slug and it will be generated based on the title so with that we have completed creating the schema for the backend alright so that's basically it for this video in the next video we will see how to connect this backend to our front end and I will also create some posts and some testimonials for the next video All right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day